Sam Beckman Free, the founder of FTX, took the witness stand for the very first time. He's dressed in a grayish brown suit and his hair was um, had been cut a few weeks ago. So he no longer had that mop of very unruly hair. He seemed like a very uh, presentable, suited up uh, person in court. It has been a very interesting day because we all expected Sam to take the stand and testify in front of the jury. However, um, the judge asked the jury to leave and go home um, at around 2 p.m. this afternoon because he wanted to see whether Sam's testimony was going to be um, permissible in front of the jury. Um, that's pretty rare and is a major curveball for us. One of the interesting things Sam mentioned was that FTX decided to use all these encrypted messaging apps such as Signal or Telegram because there were a lot of hacking attempts against FTX, uh, the crypto exchange. And then um, he was also worried that former employees might um, sell the data to competitors. When he was being questioned by the government prosecutor, he couldn't recall a lot of the important details about why a certain subsidiary was created or uh, whose decision it was initially to use that subsidiary to receive FTX customer funds. A lot of the important details or events that led to the collapse of um, FTX and Alameda. He was often evasive and uh, fumbling at times. It was pretty frustrating um, to hear a lot of the answers he, he gave, which is basically, I don't know, I'm not sure. When I interviewed him, he was one of the youngest and richest billionaires in the world. And anything he said had a lot of weight to it. And here he needed to convince people why he didn't steal billions of dollars in customer funds when a lot of evidence has come out against him and that includes the testimonies of the three closest friends to him uh, for the past several years. He is expected to testify in front of the jury so that would be very interesting for us to see.